Well, I think um, it is uh, an opportunity for us to work with countries in that region that can help play a role in diplomatically and economically isolating North Korea. And frankly, the national interest of the United States, the safety of our people and the safety of people in the region are the number one priorities of the President. Did the President know about those comments and about his record of human rights abuses when he extended the invitation for him to visit the White House? I mean, the President gets fully briefed on the leaders that he's speaking to, obviously, but the number one concern of this President is to make sure that we do everything we can um, to protect our people and specifically to economically and diplomatically isolate uh, North Korea. And I think when you look at um, what he is doing in terms of building that coalition of countries in that region to do it, I think this is hopefully going to have – well, he knows yeah, – I mean, I'm not going to tell you every single thing that's in his brief, but he's well aware of when he, when he speaks with a leader. Uh, he gets briefed on on a lot about their what they're doing, what they've done. Um, that's all part of uh, of the brief. Uh, today, the president told Bloomberg he was open to meeting with Kim Jong Un uh, if the conditions were right. How does the president uh, define the right condition to have this meeting? Well, there's a lot of things that go along with that, and I think that's the key thing. Under the under the right circumstances was, I believe, the phrase he used, um, and I think that is something in keeping with with our poli uh, with consistent with the policy expressed by Secretary Tillerson as well. Um, we, we've got to see their the provocative behavior ratched down immediately. That, those are, there's a lot of conditions that I think would have to happen with respect to its behavior um, and, its, and, and to show signs of good faith. Clearly, the conditions are not there right now, but I think the President's made it clear, as Secretary Tillerson had the other day, that um, you know, if the conditions, if the circumstances are, uh, present themselves, uh, we would be prepared to, but they're clearly not at this time.